Hello Internet, uh, I thought it's time to uh, do another introduction video. Uh, I've done the one a while ago, years ago, but uh, a lot of changed and I've got a brand new laptop right now, got a new job. But with a new laptop, it gives a new opportunity to install everything and also to figure out all the quirks because once you got it working, you, I don't remember at least what I needed to do to get it working. So now I have a laptop, new MacBook Pro, uh, that has, um, I have got Rust installed. I, I had to do that. I had to do some Rust work. But aside from that, I didn't do anything ESP32. So I was thinking, let's install all that right now and see what uh, what we run into until we can um, uh, until we can uh, get something to work. Uh, I got a few um, microcontrollers we can use. I don't think we'll be using all of them. Uh, maybe this one. No, this one. Yeah. So um, uh, I have got my old. S3, the, the the with the with the high res screen I used uh, for my uh, dashboard. I have a C3, so that's the kind of the most basic um, uh, uh, RISC version. Uh, there's a C6. I have a dual uh, USB port S3 again. This is also an S3 with a uh, with a screen on the back, and that has a more of a smartwatch form factor. So let's get into it. Um, right here. So uh, I do have Rust installed. So uh, I can do like a Rust up show, I think. Yeah, so this shows that I have uh, the stable um, sta stable channel installed in Rust. So that should work. Um, I will probably be editing this video a little bit because uh, some of the things take a while to install and uh, that's going to be boring otherwise. So let's get cracking. So the first thing we need to install, uh, let me see, is um, is something what it's called ESP up. That is a tool chain, a tool to manage ESP tool change chains. And uh, there are some Linux-based installation options. I, I'm on the MacBook, so I can't do that. So I just do cargo install ESP up. Often that's the slowest option because it's going to recompile everything. But on the flip side, uh, yeah, it should be pretty universal. And by the magic of editing, it will not take too long for you. So let's try, see what this does. Cargo install USB app. All right, that wasn't too terrible. That took like 30 seconds. So, uh, what can we do with ESP app? Not that many things, so that's kind of nice. Uh, I guess we're going to go to, for ESP up install. It's going to take a while, I think. Okay, so that was also not too terrible. I think like maybe a minute. Uh, okay, so where does that leave us? Uh, don't forget uh, this last st uh, statement here that it says that you need to uh, do that export, that is actually important. So best to include that in your uh, uh, Z shell uh, profile or something like that. Right now, I'm just going to run it. Uh, let's see if it all works. Uh, but before we do that, we have another tool to install and that's called um, ESP generate. And before there was, it was like a, another tool, I don't know exactly, some templating tool. Uh, and that, um, uh, this is a bit more ergonomic to use. Installation, pretty much the same deal. Cargo install, USB generate locked. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, that was all right. Uh, let's go to my videos folder here. Um, let's try to run ESP generate. Gener hmm. Maybe create a new shell, ESP generate. Okay, here we go. So what does that need? It needs a chip and it needs a name. So first of all, uh, let's, uh, I don't know, let's pick the most basic chip I have, which is a C3. Um, so I need to connect that one. And uh, well, let's create a project first. So ESP generate, my dash dash chips, chip, ESP32 C3, and name test C3. You're not going to do anything fancy. Um, yeah, so this is um, the whole menu system where you can choose what to include. So it's kind of nice. It's very difficult to see which line is selected, though. I don't know if that's a Mac thing or a theme. I don't know. You can enable unstable health features. I don't quite need it. I do use the allocation usually. Uh, let's add embassy. I can't add embassy. Or can I? Hmm. The, the terminal is a little bit messed up. I tend to use this one, the low crate, yes. I think so too. Uh, other option. There's some new ones I hadn't seen before. Also important, I forgot. Uh, the version of ESP generate is kind of important. Uh, the, the last uh, tool to generate projects would just get a template project from GitHub. So as that was updated, it would update as well. But right now, if there is a new HAL version or something like that out there, it will never create that. It also, it only just does what it always does. So you need to really update it if you want something new. So I forgot about that and that made a uh, that made the last video a bit more complicated than it needed to be. Let's see, can I add embassy now? Somehow I can't. Interesting. So again, this is probably because I have a newer version than I had before on my last laptop. Uh, maybe now I can use embassy. Yeah, no. so embassy requires unstable hall features. Um, okay, let's see if we can press save and create a the thing. Okay, it says that Rust is installed, but ESP Flash is not. But did it create it? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, let's see how we install ESP Flash. Rust ESP Flash. I suspect it's a. Is that something we can just do with cargo install ESP Flash? Let's see what that does. Okay, let's see. That seems to do something. Uh, I didn't enable probe RS, so I think this should be okay. Let's get into our, to our generated project and let's see. Uh, so for this one, if I look at the Rust tool chain, uh, because it's a RISC V, processor, we can just use the regular Rust compiler. So this will just use the stable channel. Nothing special here. Uh, and that's nice because then we don't need the special tool chain. So let's see if we can do cargo build release.
I got to say, it's a whole lot quicker than my last laptop. That's quite nice. So that worked. Uh, let's connect it, it up to my laptop and see if I can flash the controller. Uh, let's see. So I'll take the C3. Yeah, you can maybe see it. I put it on the cable here and uh, allow it to connect. Let's do it. Cargo, run, release. Okay, so it detected the JTAG port, which is good. No, I don't remember it. Update it. Well, it says hello world. So, th so that, that's good. Let's uh, uh, have a look at the project here. I trust it. And uh, yeah, uh, there's not an awful lot to see, I suppose. Not this a bit much. Uh, but it's a loop and it does an async uh, loop with Embassy. So that was pretty straightforward. Uh, let's take another one. I think the C6 will be the exact same experience. So that's a bit, uh, a bit boring. So let's do another ESP flash, uh, ESP generate. Uh, let's do the one of the S3 ones. Um, chip ESP32 S3 test S3. Okay, uh, so what do we need? I want allocations, I want embassy. For embassy I need it unstable, I think. So now I have embassy. Um, and what else? Here maybe log crate, ESP backtrace. Anything else? No. Oh yeah, and generally I, I also enable the the settings for Visual Studio Code. That's it, I think. Let's do this. It does the pro RS, that's okay. So test S3 cargo. And let's have a look. Uh, now, if we look at the REST toolchain, we see it has channel ESP. I think the ESP app installed it, but I'm not entirely sure. Cargo install, no, cargo uh, build release. So as it is building, I suppose it had the toolchain, otherwise it would complain pretty quickly about it. Okay, it complains about the linker. Uh, that might be the... Uh, That might be the, the, no, nothing. I forgot to save that one. Uh, that might be that statement I said before that after ESP up, uh, that you should remember to, to put into a Z shell or something like that. Um, yeah, I did a install again. It failed because it already installed, but I'll try this one. Maybe this will work. So run this one again because I did make a new new shell and let's uh, do it. and now it works so that's that, that's a thing to uh, to remember so let's unplug the C3 and plug in the well one of the S3 so this is the one with the with the high resolution display allowed to connect uh, and let's run it Again, it does see uh, the port, that's a good sign, it uploads, and it says hello world. I mean, the, the screen doesn't display anything, but it does work. So, uh, that's all very nice. 
and it has gotten a whole lot easier. And I hopefully now uh, the ESP HAL version is in a beta that the number of breaking changes will slowly get uh, fewer and farther in, in between. So I'm glad it's gotten a bit easier nowadays. And uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to show. Uh, it's a lot nicer than it used to be. So keep on hacking out there and uh, let me know if there is something I can do for you. See you in the comments. Bye.